Hello everyone. Today we are talking about Apache Airflow. This is a workflow management system from Apache. It was part of Apache since 2019. Apache Airflow is allows to programmatically order, schedule and monitor workflows. Prior to this, we were using cron job or some other workflow management tools. But the Apache Airflow become a popular one because of this allows a lot of functionalities. Our Airflow is allows to order workflows as directed acyclic graphs, in short DAGs. The Airflow scheduler executes your task on array of workers while following specified dependencies. So the DAG scripts is writing in uh, Python scripts. So here you are seeing uh, a graphical representation of Apache uh, Airflow task. So in, in this workflow task, it is uh, executing in a series of tasks. The run me 0, 1, 2 task is executing. Then it's going to the next uh, level of uh, task and then finishing. So it, the Apache Airflow is completely monitoring this. In this tutorial, we are talking about how an Apache Airflow is invoking an AWS Lambda function. In this AWS Lambda function in, in internally it is writing some random data into, an S, into a JSON file and uploading into an S3 bucket. We are using a special type of operator called AWS Lambda hook to perform this operation. So we will be creating an S3 bucket first then uh, once we created the X3 bucket in the AWS, we will create the Lambda function to perform the operation. And once the Lambda function is uh, tested finally, we will be creating the DAG file to invoke that particular Apache Airflow. The DAG file, as I mentioned, it is written in Python script. So, so then finally we will execute that Lambda lambda from Apache Airflow. So let's start. Let's go to AWS console and create our first, follow the first step creating S3 bucket. So I am here creating an S3 bucket. Uh, it's called Airflow task. DAG task and I am in AWS region, US East 2, so you can follow as per your um, convenience. I am following the all default and then creating bucket. So now after a few seconds you can see your, we have that bucket is ready. Now I am going to create our lambda function. So I am writing this in Python and then creating a new role here, then creating function. So they, they, I am creating a new role with basic lambda permission and then creating the S3, uh, creating the function over here. Okay, now we have that lambda function created and now we, we have the basic template level available here. So I, my requirement is write something to uh, S3. So I have the code available here. I will copy that. And paste over here. So it's here the Lambda handler. So I need to update the, the S3 bucket name, airflow hyphen dag hyphen task. Okay, so it is basically it is creating the customer address uh, object and creating a file name uh, in, in JSON format and uploading that customer address into this uh, JSON file and then uploading that into the S3 bucket. So now I can deploy. So the changes is deployed. I can test it. So now before that, ensure that your bucket is empty. The created role doesn't have that. 
put object permission into S3 bucket. So we go over to the configuration and see the execution role. Here you can access the role here and you need to attach put object, put S3 put up policy uh, to add something into an S3 bucket. So here I am going to attach policy. So I already have the policy called S3 put policy. So you can create a similar policy that is uh, saying the action S3 put object. So I'm going to attach that and attaching into test that. So create that function name here. So you can just call something testing lambda. So the payload you can keep it as it is and create. Then you can test it. So in this okay now we are testing this uh, lambda function and it's executed successfully we can see the response proper successful response over here in the console now we can go over the DAG task bucket and see that json is populated correct or not now when we downloaded the json file into the into our uh, local machine and just uh, see that what are the data is written over here. So we can see that the customer address, street, city is written there as expected is in the in the Python function. So the uh, in the Python uh, Lambda script. So uh, the second step uh, we completed. Now the next step we will be creating the DAG file. Uh, in the Apache Airflow. So again this is a Python script and we will have the import uh, scripts in that Python script for uh, uh, rele relevant modules like bash operator, python operator. So all this we require to execute this task. The python operator is using to execute the python function and we have the AWS lambda hook we are ex and Boto3 and JSON modules we are uh, importing for uh, necessary operations. Then we have the default argument set, default arguments such as owner, uh, email, all those data is we are sitting over there. And uh, we have uh, uh, we can have the email on failure and then the Python function we can uh, we can define in that and then we need to uh, start writing the task. The first task is the Python operator. It is invoking that lambda function. That lambda function you can uh, you can call as a Python script as written above. And you need to mention that lambda uh, handler name and the region name and then uh, then the qualifier i will talk about the qualifier later and then the aws connection id aws connection uh, add object to s3 that is the function we are uh, created then we we are going to uh, check just check that okay then ensure that the lambda handler is properly uh, we defined then um, then after providing all these parameters then the bottom one is AWS connection ID so this connection ID is the AWS default I meant I created with that name so that name should be uh, defined in the airflow configuration connection module so that you can utilize uh, UI layer for that, web server layer. And then I have the bash operator here to just to show that uh, some log in the airflow logs. So it will just show that it's a task completed successfully kind of message. So you can configure it accordingly. Uh, you can also extend to for multiple tasks if required. Now it's loaded in the DAG. So then let's access that uh, lambda function so it's a lambda flow that uh, dag id that is written over here that will 
that only you can see in the Apache Airflow UI layer. Okay, then just go to the graph view, tree view, all those modules. The tree view shows how many uh, repetition and the code module will show uh, what is the code you written. Then, uh, then you can go over to uh, over to the console and see that whether you uh, cl clear deleted that before executing that, because it, it we just we just ensure that it is working properly. I mentioned earlier the AWS default that is the connection object I used. We should have that uh, same name. We should be provided as a connection ID. And here the the place we are uh, sitting that AWS uh, uh, password, uh, AWS login and password details. So connection ID and connection type we need to set Amazon Web Services. Then we need to use the same name in the DAG script. We need to understand the qualifier. This qualifier value is showing over here it is 2. That means the version of that particular Lambda. So the Lambda function name is uh, Airflow to Airflow Lambda to S3 and the qualifier is 2. The 2 is the version. So we need to ensure that the particular version is available here or not. So the version S2 is available here. If it is not available, you need to publish a new version. So if it is for first version, it will be 1 and the qualifier you need to update accordingly. Now we are going, we are uh, going back to the airflow and uh, we are refreshing and now we are triggering the DAG. Then we can see whether it is executed. Uh, we are refreshing and executing this. Now we can see this is success and it is executed successfully. Yeah, so the response is successful. So now that particular uh, as per the lambda function code, this should execute and upload a JSON file into the S3. So now we'll go over to the uh, our S3 bucket. So we can see that particular JSON file is return over here because uh, it was an asynchronous call that took some time to write into the S3 bucket. So hope you like the video. Thank you.